we got Salesforce Tower behind. What's going on y'all? It's your boy Jerry Shootsman. We're back out again with another vlog. So for today's video, we're gonna be shooting my friends Evo X Varus. Um, that's the only thing I know right now, but I'm pretty sure you guys didn't like this build. Um, we're currently here in San Francisco, California. Obviously, we gotta represent you know, the Bay. I live around here too, so you know. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tour in the city real quick. Enjoy. I did not see this coming. I thought he was gonna bring his other car. This guy's got so many cars right now, so look what he just brought right now, guys. Look what he just bought. He just brought this black edition GTR. I'm not too sure what year this is, but he recently just picked this up too. Big Wang right here too. So he owns this black edition GTR and he owns another one that you guys are gonna see in a bit. You guys can see that one. Hi hey guys, so this is Kuya at Kujian right here. Kuya, introduce yourself in hey, your car. Kujian, and this is my Varus Evo. Okay. All right, so what year is this? 2011. 2011 Varus Evo. One of, one of the Varus um, Evos only here in the Bay, right? I'm not too sure how many Varus Evos we have. Let's get into it. What are the things that you've done to your car? So pretty much the whole white body, which is I got it done by myself and some of my friends. So we didn't bring it to the shop. Wow. Okay. So we did it on our own. I got the kit from one of my boys from Utah yeah and then yeah we pretty much installed everything wheels Toyo shout out Toyo yes sir bunch of stuff inside all the all the tuner guys know about nice, it nice nice yeah. so we custom it too so usually the barriers always has the um hole in here so we mold it and oh then yeah that's right huh it. yeah that's fine Okay. Wow. So what wheels are these? Um, T37. T37s. I want to guys, T37s. They just look, they just look good in every car. I this, I mean, depends. I, I guess, but I just feel like T37s would look. They just look really good. It's very hard to find this setup nowadays. So cold speed hood strut. One of one, one of the rare one. They said had the Kansai service. Kansai service. So Kansai service basically is a HKS, one of the shops in uh, Japan. Then carbine, carbine titanium um, strap bar. Of course, my project mu along with my brake. And this one is the anniversary of HKS too. This is Boltex 1600 mm. For the wide body wing and then pair with the um, Chasing J's titanium bolt. If you know about Chasing J's, so you know it's no joke. It's not cheap. <laughs> I bet, man, I bet. With all the titanium color right there too, it's pretty sick. So I just wanna know, how'd you get into cars? Just hanging out with my old friends back in like early 2000. I was only 14, hanging out with the old guys, riding dirty. <laughs> No license, got car, picking out like you know Honda and stuff. So we start with there. So starting with young, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys didn't know, Krijian right here actually owned a few Evos already. Um, if I'm not mistaken, three. Yeah. So he. So this is his third Evo right here, guys. I will. Per I'll personally want to know as well. Why are you sticking to Evo? So why the Evo X? Always drive power. Also, it's easy to make fast. That's true. Handling. So. I don't like doing drug race, so I'm more like mountain runs. Yeah, and people like people like go to track. I mean, for me, I, I just like to drive it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. And this goes back to the topic why. This goes back to the topic where I always say in my past YouTube videos, I respect so much car owners that can build their cars and drive them at the same time, and not just showing them. Because if you guys didn't know, this car actually. It's been it's been going to every single show as I've, I've ever gone in the past five years or something. It's not on so, a full track. <laughs> it's not. It's definitely it's, it, it's it's definitely driven. You know, like it's been. I've seen this car. I've seen this car in Spokane, LA. Yeah. Um, I've seen this car definitely stand station here in San Mateo, California. Um, what else? Uh, Week Fest definitely San Jose. So, I mean, yeah, that, I always see this car every single time. Um, he had, I think he had different wheels when I saw you a lot. It was red wheels, right? So I was just sponsored by Speed Image. Oh, so yeah, he was sponsored. Okay, I know. Yeah, Gary, that's dope. That's dope, so, man. You know, wheels, 
Every time you see my car, you just want me to change my wheels. There you go, there you go. And that's a good thing about, about having friends and also connection, you guys. So definitely, shout out to Tom, man. Um, are there any stories behind this car, behind this build? So uh, I personally want to know as well, and also maybe the people will want to know. Or behind this car, just pick up the car, because my car is in the shop. My other Evo, the orange Evo, if you guys know about it, that's my first build. And then it's just been in the shop for like almost a year. And I got tired not driving a stick shift, so I pick up this one. Yeah. A lot of my friends say like, oh, what are you gonna do with it? I was like, keep it stock, but it didn't happen. Stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep it, it stock. it didn't happen. Yeah. So, you know, that's a problem when you have a friend that's tuner. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, yeah, so. and know, knowing the guys that you always hang out, knowing the people that your connections that are into like tuner cars and all that stuff, they definitely want to push you more to like, yeah, we want you to do something with your car. You said to keep it stock, but look what happened. It's like, <laughs> it's a very built car, guys. It's a very, very built Evo X, which is totally insane. How much power is it pushing? It's pushing 405 horsepower to the wheel. So just full bolts on, E85, and then built head. So yeah. the built head actually, definitely, that is the, that is the main thing. Because on this car, you don't really need to build the block if you just want to push under 500 horsepower. That's okay. what everybody says, yeah. and then yeah, basically this car's been tuned for like almost four years now, and never put me down. What is your favorite thing about this car? It's just built to drive. Yeah, that's that's a good yeah. answer right there. I drive it in the rain, <laughs> summer, show car. Yep, show car. Definitely. Have fun. Yep. Yeah. Hang out it's just built to drive. Yep, definitely. So it's not gonna be the perfect car, but it's drivable. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, for the very last part. You know, we just want you to wait a little bit right here and that way we can tell you guys the surprise. But this car is actually going to be given away. I don't know how many weeks we have left, but Kuya Gian right here will definitely tell you guys about the details. All right, Kuya, go for it. So this car is going to be raffle. It's $150 per spot and we're building up 300 spot. So we're going to raffle it on our upcoming opening shop at HHW. So check out the Instagram or website. You're gonna see it in there. So somebody with 150 gonna own this car. Ten. Maximum 10 slot per okay, person. Okay, Max, okay, cool. That's, see, that's the good thing about it. Because some people actually don't have any maximum. But they would just buy whatever. And then just next thing you know, it's like, oh, I got I got it. Because, you know, it yeah, just, you buy a lot. Yeah, you know, he, I want somebody to have it with a fair price, you know? Yeah, so he has a good reason about this. So shout out shout out to him, guys. And shout out to also HHWH, a trader. I'm put their Instagram right here, too. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to like and subscribe. I see you guys in the next video, y'all.